Charter Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz in Long Beach today at the League of California Cities Convention. And about 22 miles from here, by sea, is Catalina Island. I love Catalina Island. And guess what? The mayor's here! The mayor of Avalon, the main city on Catalina Island. Before we talk about that lovely island of yours, what is this? What, well, is this? what are you wearing? What's this orange jacket? Well, as you know, the League is always an inspiration and the keynote speakers are fantastic. Yes. Well, yesterday there was a gentleman, Jason Roberts from Dallas, Texas, who talked about the small clever things he did under the dark of night right. and those kinds of things. And and the going away words with, with, a, with an orange vest and cones, you can get anything done. Nobody's <laughs> gonna question public works. You know, so, that is brilliant. So since we're a small town with small projects, I figure this will, we can get a lot done. I love it. I want to talk about your island. I, I just, I have fond memories of it as a child. I take my children there. I was there recently and I was really spooked by the impact of the drought on your island. You're surrounded by water, yet the drought is severe. Explain why. Well, part of the reason for the why is that Mother Nature hasn't been blessing right. us with any rain. No, it's that rain. simple. It's that simple. And this is, we're going into, I think this right. is our fifth, fifth or sixth year. Right. So um, that is our biggest thing. And most of our water comes from the reservoir. And that usually holds full 1,100 acre feet of water. And now it's at about 133 acre feet. Oof. So as you know, we have a We've had a desal plant there. Yes. And um, in, in trying to keep ahead in partnership with Southern California Edison, we have um, implemented a second desal plant. And you see the desal plants when you're riding on the golf cart or on the bike, it's right there. I mean, you can see it. And so you'd think there's enough water in the ocean to desalinate, but no? Well, there is, but there are regulations. So, right. the, 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 interestingly, the salt water comes from salt water wells in the ocean. You can't just put a hose there and siphon the water <laughs> up. Thank you for that. You know, so, so these wells are older, um, and and with the permitting, we weren't allowed to have two separate desal side by side. I see. So one feeds into the other, which which the second one squeezes more fresh water out. I see. So. Um, but truly, in the winter time, our desal can take care of the residents of Avalon. But of course, our summer is the busy time. And, and consider this: you have 4,500 residents yes. and over 700,000 tourists a year. Yes. So that's a significant impact. I know that there's a lot of anxiety on the island about mandatory reductions. Yes. So as I understand it, help me out: if someone is obtaining water through the desal plant the reduction is 40%, but there are some that are getting their water from the groundwater and they have a 50% reduction and they're feeling a little picked on, is that fair? <laughs> I don't, You're the mayor, you we, love everyone. We, and we don't make the tariffs. Of that course. was Edison's decision it, yes. because they do draw down from the, from the reservoir right. and that is what is critical. So we are working and partnering with Edison and we're gonna have a conversation soon right. about what are the short-term effects and what are the things that we can do that, that are the least financially impactful on the, on the uh, rate payers to, to perhaps one of the solutions might be to, to have a pipeline to Hamilton Cove, that's one of right. the big ones, so that they can use the desal water. What about, for example, could you access water under the golf course? Is that possible? Well, the Santa Catalina Island Company has, they have dug three test wells, two which were okay, and one okay. which, and they're going down about 450 to 600 feet. That will, that will give them about, give the community about uh, 50 gallons of water per minute. And you multiply that by a minute and to an right. hour and right. 24 hours a day, that will be helpful, um, but it's, it's part of the big patchwork right. quilt to solve our water problem. What's remarkable to me is the situation has become so dire that I understand some of your residents, they're collecting water that's dripping off of air conditioners. They yep. are putting water 
buckets in the showers. Yes. Um, restaurants are using water left over by customers, either the glasses or the water bottles, and using that to mop. I mean, th yes. this is this is draconian. This is serious. And I remember when I went to visit, I asked for a glass of water. And they said, I'm sorry, we're going to have to give you bottled water. And yes. I, at first I thought, how dare you? But then I realized, oh, no, this is a situation. We are taking it very serious. And I am, the community, the residents and the businesses need to be so applauded. Because when I come here to the mainland, like I had breakfast right. this morning, and it was amazing. I said to the woman at the Long Beach Cafe, right. because I love that place, I said, I just want a half a glass of water, please, because right. I know they have big ones. And the lady says, I hear you. Mm. Because usually when I ask for a half a glass of water, they still give me, the, anywhere else they give me the large glass. So I poured the water out when I left and she and I said, you know, you may want to consider the bottled water because the bottled water, now you're not having to wash the cups. Right. Um, Some restaurants are using paper plates, I think. I don't think that's but, really come too much to but that. But God bless yet. them. Uh, I know, I know. It's, right. There, um, and, and, the restaurants that are, are in the hotels that are sending their linens right. and things to the mainland, paying for the freight over and right. back. Pay, so the sacrifice that they are making to allow our visitors to still right. have a wonderful experience, we're, we're doing our best. What about a private desal plant? Is that a possibility? <laughs> we're, <laughs> yeah. I'm not the technical person I understand. on this one. Uh, we have been advised that that might not be allowed. However, I know there are some regulatory issues. Yes, thank you. And right. there have been people that have put them in. Right. Um, but I, what we're trying, what we want to do is reduce the amount of, of salt water that goes into our to our sewer treatment plant because it it plays havoc on right. that. So we're tr we're going to be putting in these flapper valves uh -huh. that keep the water from just going in that's not in our toilets and right. whatever. That would then maybe free up some some. Um, I would like to think or right. hope it would free up some availability for desal in homes. Um, unfortunately for you, I'm going to come visit again. Oh, and no, so I want to hear what's in store for the visitors uh, to Catalina Island. You're looking a year out, three years out, five years out. If you know, I mean, what, what can we expect? Well, there's been a lot of wonderful changes in Avalon. Yes. And I think one of them started with the inclusion of a zip line. Wow, which is so much fun. Yes. So yes, much fun. Yes. And I know Santa Catalina Island Company is looking for a couple of other ride type right. things to be put out in that area. And so, the whole Descanso Beach is revitalized it, it, and, and, and just beautiful. It is beautiful. And I saw a movie at the casino, which is epic. I mean, that is the best theater in the world. Uh -huh. And uh, with a page organ. Right, and, right. And someone was playing. Yeah. And of course, the, our miniature golf course is always beautiful. Right. And, then, and then when the weather's nice, there's boating and kayaking and paddle boarding and and now we have the new uh where they put you up and they shoot you up in the air on a oh, flyboarding is the newest thing we have going that's not for the young i mean not for the old but it's for the young and i um, honor you mayor for being the leader of such a great city yeah. on an island that i cherish she is annie marshall she is the mayor of avalon the capital, I guess, of the yeah. island of Catalina. <laughs> My name is Brad Pomerantz. We're coming to you from the League of California Cities in Long Beach, Charter Local Edition. Thank you, Brad. What a treat. <laughs>